Have you ever learned a strategy from a mentor, like uh, a guru online, and you see, see him, you know, just kill the market, right? Uh, he's making tons of money, and there you are, right? Applying the same exact strategy, but somehow you just can't seem to turn a profit. Okay, that's a very common problem. Now, in today's video, I'm going to tell you why this is happening to you, right? It's not really a very uh, unique problem. It's a very common problem, okay? So today, we are not going to look at the charts, but today, I just want to talk to you about trading psychology and uh, the importance of knowing uh, your own personality and your own trading psychology, okay? So I've actually written an uh, article over here about um, how do you find the best trading strategy that suits you, okay? Not the best trading strategy that suits your mom or, you know, the best trading strategy that suits uh, your so-called teacher or your mentor, but the best trading strategy that suits you, okay? So if this is a problem that you face, uh, you want to check out uh, this article, okay, I'll, link a, I'll leave a link to the description below, okay? Just to note that uh, this article is still in progress. I'm still uh, taking some time to reflect about uh, this problem, so I'll continue to update it. But uh, in today's video, let's talk about uh, why this is happening, okay? So why this is happening is because uh, each of us has a different uh, psychological makeup, okay? What, what do I mean by uh, different psychological makeup? That means that um, I may think a certain way and you may think a certain way, okay? Does it mean that uh, you are wrong and right? No, it's not true, right? Because there are millions of people trading the markets that are able to make money out of the market. Right, so that means that uh, you can have different uh, styles of trading. You can uh, adopt different uh, so-called belief system around your trading strategy. Okay, so in this article, I do talk about a uh, so-called example. So let me just break down this example for you. Okay, so I myself, uh, if you've been following uh, the Telegram channel, a lot of the trades that I take tend to be a momentum trader. Okay. For me, I'm very comfortable um, waiting for a setup to happen, right? I can wait the entire day, the entire you know, week for a trade, uh, trade setup to appear, okay? I have no problem waiting. Uh, but for me, when I trade, I want to be in the green right away. So what do I mean by a green right away? That means the moment I click the button, right? I want to see that uh, my position is in the profit immediately, right? That is how I know I got it right, so to speak, right? that uh, I analyze the market correctly and that uh, I'm reading price action correctly, right? That gives me confidence. That is the way I like to do it, right? So if you are like that as a person, then probably my trading style or the methodology that I teach uh, in my Forex course, right? I have a free Forex course, right? Uh, if you're not part of that, make sure you check it out. The link is in the description, right? Uh, if you have this kind of personality, then uh, it is a perfect fit for you, right? You will have no problem uh, just applying this strategy uh, right off the bat, okay? But let's say uh, you do not have this, this uh, mindset, right? You are, you, that's just not the way you function. You know, maybe you are a person of value, right? You believe in um, buying low. So you like to buy into a pullback, right? Pullback strategy, right? So uh, you try to apply my strategy and you look at my Telegram channel and you look at, you know, how our team is performing and you're like, geez, how, how, how did he make all this kind of money? And you try to, uh, you know, uh, execute our strategy and then you lose money because your psychology cannot take it, right? Because you are saying, oh no, price is too high, I cannot buy. And you struggle to actually execute the signals that we already sent you, okay? That means, you know, we already analyze the market for you. We already tell you where to enter. We already tell you exactly where to exit, but you can't execute it. Right. Why is this so? That's because your trading psychology is not in alignment with uh, the trading strategy. Okay. So I said, uh, mention over here, right? This is a classic case of, of a mismatch between your trading psychology and trading strategy, right? So you are not able to hold a position psychologically, okay? Notice this has nothing to do with the trading strategy, right? I'm going to assume that the trading strategy that you learn has a uh, positive expectancy, okay? If it doesn't, then obviously you have another problem, okay? Uh, in my website over here, I do have an article written about uh, how do you determine if a 
uh, your trading system has a positive expectancy, but uh, this is not the purpose of this video. Right? This video is uh, just talking to you about uh, trading psychology. Okay, so let me ask you a question right now. Okay, which do you think is easier? Do you think it's easier to alter your trading strategy or alter your psychology? Okay, um, this is a concept that uh, honestly we don't really see anyone teach. Right, I mean, our team has spent a lot of money, right? We went for different courses, right? Uh, invested a lot of money in our education. Uh, we don't see anyone talking about this concept. Okay, they always tell you to alter, you know. That, oh, you need to think like a professional trader. You need to uh, be good at managing risk, you know. But they don't really point you in the right direction about uh, how do you uh, like, you know, align your trading strategy and psychology together. And so that's what I'm trying to share with you here in today's video. Okay, so back to the topic, right? Uh, I think the answer to this is pretty straightforward, right? Your psychology is something that's hard to change, right? Especially, you know, uh, if you are older, maybe you're in your 30s, you're 40s, there are a lot of beliefs that you have about how the world works and, you know, what you believe is right and wrong, right? All this is already kind of ingrained, okay? So it's very hard to train your, uh, so-called change your psychology, right? So your trading strategy is the thing that uh, is easy to change, right? In fact, I mean... If you go on like YouTube, you go Forex Factory, right? In fact, if you are watching this on YouTube right now and you click on the, you know, on the right column, that's all the suggested videos, you see that there's a thousand and one trading strategies out there. So trading strategies is not, you know, it's not a scarce resource. You can always change it. But psychology is something that is very difficult to change, right? You can't really teach a old dog uh, new tricks, right? That's, that's the same. So you want to really spend time to not change your psychology, but understand yourself, you see. So I can only quote this example over here, right? About being a momentum trader and loving to see my positions be in the green immediately because I actually take the time to uh, break down my own trading psychology. I take the time to understand what kind of person I am, okay? So this is kind of like a uh, self-analysis, okay? So a lot of people do, do not take the time to do this, right? They just read a trading strategy online and they sort of run with it, right? They just say, oh, if it works for that guru, it will work for me, okay? But uh, it doesn't work like that, okay? In fact, if you read um, a lot of like all these kinds of trading psychology books, they always say that trading is 80% psychology and 20% uh, methodology. And the problem with a lot of people is that um, they face, you know, they... they spend too much time, okay? They spend too much time on uh, the training strategy, which is only the 20%, right? But instead, they should be spending more time on the psychology, right? Understanding their psychology, right? Understanding their shortfalls, right? Uh, in their thinking. And then after that, coming up with a strategy that uh, aligns with the psychology, right? That should be the way uh, to do it, okay? So as I said earlier on in this video, uh, this article is still in... Uh, in progress, right? But uh, I want to give you some uh, questions you can ask yourself to help you analyze your own psychology. Okay, now this is very important because uh, this is where you do the heavy lifting. This is the where 80% of the work is done, okay? If you do not do this, then you will never be able to, you know, find out like what is, you know, what kind of psychology do you have? Like what kind of uh, thinking you have, right? Like what, what kind of strategy will suit your personality? So over here, I'll just go through the first two questions because I'm still working on it. But uh, I've seen a lot of uh, traders struggling right now. Okay, I get a lot of emails about, uh, about people struggling in this difficult market, especially, you know, in this quarantine. Okay, if you're watching this right now, uh, we are actually in the lockdown period of the COVID-19. Right, uh, you may watch this video a year later, but currently we're in a lockdown situation, meaning that uh, we can't go out. So I think the best use of your time right now is actually to ask yourself uh, these questions, okay? So questions actually direct your focus, right? Helps you to focus on the right things, okay? And if you focus on the right things and you ask the right questions, then you get the right answers, okay? So the first question I think you want to ask yourself is, are you a person who believes in selling and buying at the best price? Or for you, you are like me, it doesn't matter what price I enter as long as you catch the movement, right? as long as you catch the trend, as long as... When you are in, you make money, it, it, money immediately. Are you that kind of person? Like ask yourself, right? Again, there's no right or wrong answer. It just depends on uh, 
how, how you are as a person. Okay, the second question to ask yourself would be, do you pride yourself on being accurate? Do you need like a 80% hit rate, right? Or are you a person who are com who is comfortable with, you know, uh, taking a 30% uh, trading system, but each time you make, you make five times. So you raise a dollar, you make five dollars, but your, your hit rate is only like 30%. Which is easier for you? What kind of person are you? Okay, for me, uh, I am a mix of both, right? I like to have a hit rate of about 55%. Okay, in fact, if you analyze uh, a lot of trades that uh, I take and my team, right, because we, we, we are a team, we operate as a team, and we analyze the charts together, our hit rate is about 60%, and our uh, risk to reward is about 1.5, okay? So again, you need to know this kind of stuff, right? You need to know your psychology first, then after that, you need to look at your own trading system to get the uh, statistics right, to see if you really have a positive expectancy uh, trading this system, okay? So I think that's it for this video, right? I think to sum up this video, you want to make sure that uh, you match your trading psychology and trading strategy together. You don't just want to, uh, you know, just chase after the next strategy that works uh, for, you know, that guru or even our training strategy, right? As I always said, uh, it doesn't matter whether you decide to use uh, our trading strategy right because ultimately it may not work for you but at least uh do consider uh these factors that i uh, just highlighted okay and make sure you check out this article i'll leave uh the, the link in the description okay and if you are a new trader uh, you know you're new to our channel make sure you hit the subscribe button okay we also have a day trading guide uh that is free right it's available for download instantly okay so we also leave a uh, description link to the description sorry we'll leave a link in the description below okay so just make sure you download it especially if you need a starting point right you're new you don't really know what's working but at least just uh, download that video and have a read okay and see if it works for you if it doesn't work for you then uh try to identify why using uh, what i just shared in this video okay if any questions just comment down below okay i'll see you in the next video